look at this. Look at this. I took the grey tunnel off. Look at me, I took the grey tunnel off. You know those, the insect netting tunnel that I have? Look at all these eggs. I just walked past here, left this place for a day and loaded up. It's going to the chickens. This is what they love. Now, I was off to do something else and as I walked past here, I spotted more damage on these leaves than I anticipated. Look, the cauliflower heads are coming up. It's just there. And I've got to clean all these up and they're dehydrated. Wow. One day of high winds. And this is what happens. They get beaten to death. I've got to bring the grey tunnels back out here, folks. I took them out because I just thought oh, I'd be okay, but nah. They've been off for about three or four days and silly me thinking it's okay. The caterpillars are back out. No sooner do I take it off, they attack. And this weather's just knocked this all about. So, grey tunnel back on. And a good water. The truth is, folks, you know, in commercial farming, the poor old farmer, I just don't know how many chemicals, maybe somebody out there would know and be able to tell me. I've been to a lot of cabbage farms and leafy green farms, and I know they use chemicals to control the caterpillars so they can provide for the masses, for the commercial industry, for the, far, um, for the supermarkets. You know, the, 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 these veggies are drenched in it to be able to stop the caterpillars. You know, this damage you're seeing here is visually un unappealing, right? You don't like the look of it. We see that. I understand that. My aim here is to reduce the amount of damage so that I still get my cauliflower head, as you just see over there. I want to get my ca cabbage head. I don't care if I've got holes in my leaves. The plant, as long as the plant doesn't die off completely and it's still able to produce, that means that the plant is clean, it's, it's safe. There's no chemicals. It's, you know, it's grown by nature, the way nature intends it to grow. And we can eat it safely. But when you're buying something that's pristine, perfect, no blemish, no holes, no marks, don't you ask yourself that question? How on earth does it get to that stage? How can somebody produce something in a mass level, on a mass level, and not have one single hole. What do they use? What do, do they apply on their plants to stop the poor little caterpillar eating the little leaf? If the caterpillar won't eat that leaf, the, the veggie you buy from the supermarket, well then why the hell are we eating it? We're meant to be the smarter of the two. Ask yourself that question next time you buy something.